back to the show. People are going crazy already, so let's just bring them out. My first guest tonight has been seen on the real world, MTV. He's made so many appearances with the challenges, Inferno, all that nonsense. He was on NBC's Last Comic Standing, and now he's traveling nationwide performing his stand-up comedy. Please welcome the very funny Theo Vaughn. We got the door for you. Theo, come on. This is Courtney. Have a seat. Hey, Courtney. How are you today? Good. You guys give it up for Danielle, our door girl. Yeah, there you go, Theo. She's a biology major. She's bi. Theo, I want to start something right off the top. Before the show, you're just you're getting everybody back in the control room. You're keying them up. You're you're just giving that level of excitement, enthusiasm. Back you're just, there, back there, yeah. you're going nuts. I was getting people fired up. Oh, I uh, hope so. Letting people touch my hair. I actually cut my own hair. <laughs> All right, everybody, good. A lot good. of people are secretly impressed. So you're at the Funny Bone this week. Check them out tomorrow night. How has the show's been? How's Huntington treating you? More importantly, Huntington. Huntington has been good. Uh, I did discern it's the fat town. Uh, I didn't know that, and I'm not judging, you know. I mean, I'll be fat one day. Uh, right now, I'm svelte and lean, uh, but in the future... Don't stick around, that's what right, I'm saying. That's, yeah, there's a lot of people getting involved with fat here. Uh, so it's kind of sad because you kind of feel like if you see somebody in their 40s or late 40s, you kind of want to hug them because they're probably going to die soon. <laughs> you had the shirt on that says it, right? Isn't that, isn't that your slogan? Hug somebody in their 40s, they might die soon. Yeah, yeah. I did. I, so <laughs> it's just sad. So, But it's nice. It's just nice and sad. You know, it's like you go around town and the buildings are nice and then the people and it's like, oh, they're going to die. <laughs> but other than that, everything's that been great. excitement to the show. Yeah, it's just if you, if you, yeah, if you like food and eventual mortality, then it's good. I then think. this is the place to be, Yeah, isn't that's it? good. They should put that on a sign, I think. <laughs> so you travel in different cities throughout the nation. What's some crazy things that you've run into besides the lazy fat people? Um, we'll get back like to that. What now. do you mean by crazy exactly? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, what do you do? Because you, you, know, you perform in the evening okay. time, but you're still there throughout the week. I mean, what do you do? Just hang out? You just sleep? Uh, what happens? Well, usually I'll go to a local gym. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's something I usually do. Like it's, a lot of times it's a YMCA. Um, which is definitely shady place. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Uh, here in Huntington, actually, you guys have an awesome YMCA. Yes, absolutely. Uh, a lot of places have very horrible ones. Uh, I did see a senior once uh, blow drying his butt hair, which was a little weird. It's just a bit much if you've never seen somebody blow drying their but Grandpa, I told you, people that's see weird. you do that, uh, so stop. Oh, I it saw an owl get hit by a tow truck. Uh, in Indianapolis a couple of weeks ago. Theo's getting ready to write a book, and that's going to be his chapter one. And I was driving by. along a road, and they had an owl come up from the wood line, a beautiful owl, you know, just the Lord's bird. And it came right up, and then, uh, I don't know what I was thinking about, pornography, but then a tow truck hit it. A tow truck hit it doing 60 miles an hour, sir. And, uh... And so I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. <laughs> and so immediately I was like, man, I need to go back and see what's going on, you know? And so I whip back around and uh, I get back close to it. And, uh, and that's when I realized that, A, I don't even like animals at all. And <laughs> You're wasting your B, time. that it looked like it was going to die. And so I, uh, I rolled down my window a little and I asked if it was all right. <laughs> and I was like, are you all right, Al? And he said, whoo. And I said, you owl, this is no time to be playing games. You've been hit by a tow truck. <laughs> and I asked again, and he didn't give anything, not a, not a talent or nothing. And, uh, and so then I knew he was going to die. And so I just asked what we all wanted to ask. How many licks does it take to get to the center <laughs> of a Tootsie Pop? What a jerk. What a jerk. You're there to help the owl, now you're making fun I of I wanted him. to help him, but I just, I, I don't like animals. <laughs> That's horrible. So how do you think I felt? Yeah, well, you're wasting your time and the owl gives you no respect. Yeah. But let's talk, let's kind of change subjects here. We're talking about respect. Last comic standing, you won the respect of the whole nation. Most downloaded comic. Let's talk about that. How yeah. How huge. Most downloaded These people comic. voted for you. Guys. How huge yeah, was that? It. Uh, that was exciting, man. That was really exciting. I mean, it was, uh, I'd only been doing comedy about two and a half years, and then I got to perform in front of a ton of people. And so. Kind of like tonight, right? Where there's, yeah. I mean, there's standing room only. Is what do that we have? 70, 80 in here? That's not bad. No, seven or eight. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was, it was all, I mean, 
you know, it was really exciting. I was very nervous, though. Very, very nervous. How did you start doing your stand-up, though? I mean, is this something like, you know, on a Tuesday afternoon, uh, you said, you know what, give me a mic. I want to do this. No, I started um, in an apartment. Uh, I started doing it just for animals and <laughs> stuffed animals. <laughs> like, you've never done things. <laughs> Now, yeah, now you're, With the animals. crowd is critiquing you. Stuffed animals. Like, you never hugged a stuffed animal? Well, I went, I spoke with it. I'm yeah, sorry. it's okay. Yeah. I just, I should have said something more normal. That would have been better for everybody <laughs> to deal with. But, yeah, I used to perform for stuffed animals and pictures of people. And then uh, I started performing for live animals and then eventually live people. I want to tell my executive producer pictures of people. That might fill the audience a little bit better. Is that he wouldn't listening? be bad. No, he's not here. You can get some of those target body cutouts. It's mm -hmm. just like the black outline. So most people here probably know you from real world, road rules. Yes. Everybody goes crazy for that. Way to go on cue, folks. Talk about uh, there it is, a little, a little late. How crazy was those experiences, going on location and doing that type of show? Uh, it was pretty intense. I mean, it was kind of like summer camp, basically, I guess. It was like summer camp, but with a lot of booze kind of infused into the situation. Um, you know, when I, when I first started doing it in 2001, there was a lot of, uh, a lot of the kids didn't care as much as they do now. Now they all want to win the money. When I went, it was like kids that just wanted to hang out, and then I wanted to win the money. You know, so it was like kids didn't care. Now it's gotten really intense. You know, people are really jacked up and totally into it. And uh, it's a little too aggressive for me now, I think. But you got another TV show coming up that we, can, back. that we can talk about, right? Another TV show? Yeah, I just a did pilot? a new pilot for TBS, uh, a show called Frat House right now. That's what it's called. And it's about um, three comedians that start a fraternity for older guys. Um, and it's just like old school, the movie, but it's just a show. And you're on it. Yeah. And it's going to be awesome. Me and two other comics yeah. started up. And it's pretty fun, man. We started, we threw a huge frat party and had Rush for these uh, gentlemen. And uh, forty year olds probably. Yeah, we had yeah. one gentleman. He call. was older. He never, you know, you, you'll have a guy who's maybe never kissed a girl. You'll have a guy who uh, maybe lost a you? limb. You'll have somebody who, uh, you know, runs a, uh, a pet shop. You have somebody who milkman. You have somebody who does different things, and then they come on there. You know, maybe their wife hates them. Uh, maybe their kids hate them. Maybe they uh, still babysit, and they're in their thirties or forties. Um, so you have people doing weird stuff, and they come on there, and we try to help them enjoy their life. Well, cool. Well, I hope that turns out for you. Theo Vaughn, everyone, let's give it up one more it time. Sounds exciting. Thank you for coming on. Thank you guys for having me very much.